Hello, this video is on the area of a triangle, as shown here in the syllabus. The formulas for the area of a triangle appear on page 2 and page 6 of your formula booklet. In a triangle, sides and angles are labelled according to their position. A is the side opposite angle A, B is the side opposite angle B, and C is the side opposite angle C. You should already be familiar with a formula for calculating the area A of a triangle. That's A equals one half BH, where B is the base and H is the perpendicular height. An alternative formula for calculating the area that doesn't require the height h is a equals one half ab sine c, where a and b are two of the sides and c is the angle between them. Or it could be one half ac sine b, or it could be one half bc sine a. When performing trigonometric calculations on your calculator, make sure that your calculator is set to degrees. To do this, from the main menu, select Run Matrix, press Shift Menu to access Setup, and scroll down to the Angle option. Press F1 to select Degrees, and then press Execute. In this example, the area of a triangle formula gives the value shown. To calculate the area, you must use the angle that lies between the two given sides. In this question, to find the area of the triangular plot shown, identify that the area formula can be applied the 130 degree angle is between the two given sides. Substituting in the given values and performing the calculation gives the value shown. So the area of the plot is 11,031 meters squared, correct to the nearest integer. In this question, we're given the area of the triangle and we're asked to find the length of the side AC. If we start by identifying AC, I'm going to let it equal X, and then identify that the area formula can be applied. Since the 25 degree angle is between the sides of length X and 7 centimetres. Stating the formula and substituting in the values to form an equation in x. You can either solve the equation algebraically or use solver on your calculator. Rearranging the equation and performing the calculation gives the value shown. To solve the equation on the calculator, from the main menu select equation and press F3, solver. Type in the equation. So that's 29.6, pressing shift to access equals, pressing the fraction button, entering 1 for the numerator, scrolling down and entering 2 for the denominator, pressing the right cursor to come back up, to multiply that by pressing the x variable button, and to multiply that by 7, and press multiply followed by the sign button, and then entering 25 degrees. For the angle. Press execute to enter the equation and F6 to solve the equation and write down the value of x. So the length of AC is 20.0 centimeters, correct to three significant figures as we had before. In this question we're asked to find the area of the floor of the gazebo. If we begin by finding angle AOB, 
And since the eight triangles are congruent, the angle is equal to 45 degrees, as shown. Next, finding angle ABO. Since AO equals BO, the triangle is isosceles. Subtracting 45 degrees from 180 and dividing by 2 gives the value shown. Next, identify that the sine rule can be applied. Letting AO be x meters, the angle paired with x is known, and another pair of side and angle are also known. Substituting in the given values and using solver to solve the equation. From the main menu, select equation, press F3 for solver and type the equation in. Pressing the fraction button, the X variable button and then the down cursor to get to the denominator. Pressing the sign button, 67.5. Pressing the right cursor to come back up, pressing shift to access equals, the fraction button a second time, entering 1.2 for the numerator, then the down cursor and pressing the sign button and entering the angle of 45 degrees. Pressing execute to enter the equation and F6 to solve the equation. Write down the value of x. So the length of AO and BO are 1.57 metres, correct to three significant figures. To find the area of one triangle, identify that the area of a triangle formula can be used, as the 45 degree angle is between the two given sides. Substituting in the given values and performing the calculation gives the value shown. And since the floor of the gazebo is made up of eight congruent triangles, multiplying this value by eight will give the area of the floor. So the area of the floor is 6.95 meters squared, correct to three significant figures.